not going to happen. It's 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 not Welcome once again to the Way to Truth in the Life Holiness Church program. Once more and once again, as always, we thank God for the Almighty and all Holy God for allowing us to be back in the studio one more time. No other reason to lift up that precious and holy name of Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, a name that's above every name. At the name every knee going to bow to and every tongue going to confess to. Thank and praising God for another blessed Sabbath that he made rejoicing and being glad in it. We thank God. We woke up this morning with brand new mercy and compassion which fails not, for there is no failure in God. We thank God for being dead and loaded his benefits, that through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he richly and free to give us all things. We most certainly thank God he's God all by himself. From everlasting to everlasting, he is God. And besides him, there is no other. And we thank God he's unchanging for God. And that the word of God is settled in heaven. No adding to him, no taking from. That's right. But the word of God is exactly the way God wanted it to be. Amen. That's the way it is selling in heaven. Yes, Even though you hear a lot of folks adding and taking and mm-hmm. everything else, change the word of God to their own little vainly puffed up yeah. mind. But God's word is right. God don't need you to try to change his word. Because he's God all by himself. Amen. The one thing about God, he knows how to be God. But from everlasting to everlasting, He is God. Amen. He made us, not we ourselves. Right. He wrote the Holy Scriptures. Thank you, not us. Amen. And He put them in all the way He wanted them to be. Yes. Holy men that were moved by the Holy Ghost Amen. wrote the Holy Scriptures. And the Holy Ghost will give you the self same hour what to say. Because it's the Holy Ghost Word. Mm-hmm. But people running around trying to change God's Word, trying to make things what they want to be. But a lot of folks have them sit in God's council. That's right. And a lot of them, he said, they run and they ain't saying them. Amen. They saying it, they ain't said it. Mm-hmm. So they're out there, but God have them sent them. Amen. But God let you go ahead. Because he said many false prophets going to come in his name. Mm-hmm. And they were going to see many. So they're out here. They're out here to deceive God's people. If it's possible. But see, it's impossible to fool God people. Because if it were possible, they would deceive the very, very late. But it's not possible. You may deceive all those folks out there pretending, saying they're saved and they're not saved. People that truly feel with the Holy Ghost and call them none of God. You can't fool them people. You can take the word of God and try to misuse and misdirect all you want to. But they know the truth. They know God's word. I thank God for Jesus Christ today. Amen. For giving his life and shedding his blood to attain eternal life for us. Because in order for us to have life, life had to be given. In order for cleansing and forgiving all our sin, blood had to be shed. So we thank God. Jesus Christ, if I'm worthy to die and shed his blood and all to attain salvation and fill with our sin, that we can have eternal life because of what he did. By him being obedient to the death of the cross, become a sin for us who knew no sin, right. took our sin and them to his cross. Yes. So we thank God for having a Savior. And his name is Jesus. We thank God for having a mediator. There's one God and one meeting between God and man. That's the man, Christ Jesus. We thank God there's only one name we can call on and believe in in order to attain salvation. For God didn't give no other name under heaven. Men must be saved but the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord, which is Jesus, and I shall be saved. When it comes to salvation, it's just Jesus. Don't try to hook Muhammad in there. Don't try to hook Buddha up in there. Don't try to put Mary in there. Mm-hmm. It's just Jesus. Yes, Jesus. That's the only mediator you have. Yes, now, if you got another mediator, including the Pope, you got the wrong one. 
Jesus is our mediator. Yes, yes, yes. Between us and God. Amen. Nobody else. Nobody. Just Jesus. And everybody filled with the Holy Ghost is holy men. That's right. Don't even have the Holy Ghost talking about you holy. Mm -hmm. People have the Holy Ghost, those are the people that are holy. That's right. And if you have the Holy Ghost, you speak in tongues, and the Spirit of God give you utterance. Amen. As they did on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. As Canis did when Peter went out of his house. Right. As those men did when Paul went down to Ephesus. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done that, you're not holy and you're not saved. Amen. You've been duped. You've been to see yes. and to think you have something you don't have. Mm -hmm. Well, people, they want to argue and all like this. Well, you ain't argue with me. I didn't write this. All scripture is written was given by God. Right. And he used holy prophets and holy apostles to write this. Because mm -hmm. what? What we've for four times, we for our learning, we too patient, confident of the scripture, might have hope. And Christ in you, oh, hope oh, of glory. Oh. No Christ in you, no hope of glory. So when you come back and be glorified in the saints, you won't be part. You'll be left out. On your way to the lake of fire for all eternity. Because you tried to have it your way and not do it God's way. God only has one heart. God only has one way. And we thank God for that perfect way of holiness. We thank God for that highway of holiness that he set before us. So we know which way to walk. Amen. If we don't walk that way, there's nobody's fault but ours. Amen. There's only one faith, and that faith comes from God. God is holy, so faith is holy. That's, right. That's why I said we got the self-same spirit of holiness. Because mm -hmm. why? It comes from a holy God. That's right. If we all got self-same spirit of faith, it got to be holy. Amen. If it comes from a spirit, it got to come from God, because God is a spirit. That's right. And it's holy. Amen. But everybody got a faith. But it's not holy. Some man went up and started something, they said, Oh, that's our faith. <laughs> well, it ain't God. Amen. So, what you got is all your own. That's right. Bad to be in something God don't recognize. Mm -hmm. Be duped in the sea and think we saved when we're not. That's right. But we thank God for you to radio listen, listen to the program. Whatever you listen for, we thank God for you listening. Mm -hmm. Hear what the old babbler has to say. The old pestilent fella. They're here to tell you the truth. That's right. They're here to cut you with the sword of God and to hammer you with the word of God. Amen. Beat all that stubbornness out of you. Mm -hmm. All that disobedience, all that rebellion. Take this hammer and beat it out of you. Amen. And beat some holiness and obedience into you. Mm -hmm. So you can live according to God's word. Amen. And to cut everything out of you that's not like God. Amen. So God can do something with you. We're not here to tell you to ask God to come into your heart. Because when we tell you that, we're lying. That's right. It's not written in the Holy Scripture anywhere. None of the apostles did it. None of the prophets did it. And Jesus himself didn't do it. If anybody would have said that, it would have been Jesus. When Nicodemus came to Jesus, Jesus didn't tell him, repeat after me. No, no he told him, you must be born again. Right. Or the water and other spirit. But these false prophets tell you, just repeat after me. Oh, Lord Jesus, come in the heart, be my Lord, be my Savior. I accept you. Well, you accept Jesus. Do he accept you? Yeah. You ever thought this is a two-way thing? Mm -hmm. You talking about you accept him? Has he accepted you? No. Mm -hmm. He hasn't accepted you. You haven't obeyed him. Amen. He get the Holy Ghost to them that obey him, called the Acts 5.32. Mm -hmm. Why call me Lord, Lord, do not the things I say? You ain't doing what he told you to do. Amen. So he can't be your Lord. Amen. No man speak by the Spirit because of Jesus a curse. But, but and no man says Jesus Lord but by the Holy Ghost. That's right. Now do you have the Holy Ghost? No. Then he ain't your Lord. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 12 and 3 will let you know that. Go read it for yourself. That's right. And then you have that fall apart. Why do you, why you lied to me? Mm -hmm. Why you told me all I had to do was Repeat a sound of prayer. And all I had to do is ask Jesus to come into my heart. Mm -hmm. To be my Lord, to be my Savior. And, and now I'm saved. Now you duped. That's right. You deceived. 
you're on your way to the lake. One thing, you say you're saved, and you see a lion? Are you still shacking, fornicating? Yeah. Still committing adultery? Amen. Still drinking? Yeah. My Jesus drunk wine? Mm -hmm. Still on drugs? Yeah. Are you still doing all the same old thing that you were doing? Mm -hmm. Before you went up there and let the let that fall prophet make a fool out of you? Yeah. Or having you to repeat after him and tell you that you're saved like he died on the cross for you? The one that died on the cross told you you must be born again. Yeah. Not only did he tell you must be born again, he said repent mm -hmm. and believe the gospel. That's right. What's written in the Holy Scripture? Mm -hmm. Believe what the Word of God says when it comes to salvation. Amen. Without repenting, there is no salvation. Mm -hmm. You cannot be saved except you repent. Amen. The Savior said repent, or you say, oh, likewise, period. That's the one that saved us from our sin. That's the one that died for our sin. He told us what we got to do. People don't want to do that. So you go to hell, Father. Some old false prophet. Ain't saved yourself. Blind leading the blind. Mm -hmm. All of you going into the ditch, which is the lake of fire. Right. God's word is not going to change. Right. God no respect the person. Amen. We all got to come in through the door. Right. And that door is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. There's no other door. Or there's no other Savior. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Because why? I am the mediator. I am the door. You got to come in through me. You got to believe on me. You got to obey me in order to come in. You can't come in no other way. Well, people don't want to preach repentance today because repentance is unpopular. It was unpopular back there during Jesus' time, mm -hmm. during the apostles' time. Because people don't want to be told you got to change your wicked way. There's some things you got to do. You can't keep on doing what you're doing and attain salvation. And you can't pray. And then you got this lie now. You got them so hard about them sin of prayer. So now you want a prayer of re repenting. No, praying ain't repenting. Don't let them fool you. Amen. You ain't praying no prayer of repentance. Show me book, chapter, verse. All you liars out there telling folk, there's a pray the prayer of repentance. Show me. I want to see it. That means if you can't show me, that means you've been telling folks a lie. Amen. You are your father, the devil. And the lust of your father, you is doing. Amen. Deceiving folk. Getting folk deaf when they think they have life. Because if you don't have Jesus, you don't have life. He that had the Son has life. Right. He is not the Son of God, has not life. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you don't have Jesus. Amen. You can get mad, Amen. you can get upset, turn the radio off, and whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. But you go to 1 John, 5th chapter, start at 10th verse, read for yourself. Romans 8 and 9, read for yourself. 2 Timothy 2.19, read for yourself. Amen. Romans 9 and 8, read for yourself. Mm -hmm. Acts 2.38, read for yourself. And see if you got it. Jesus. It's all in the book. Yes, it is. Stop and take a look. Mm -hmm. Quit going by what folks say. Because God's word is the one going to stand. That was an air man be a liar. God be true. But God gonna be true. Mm -hmm. But you rather be a liar mm -hmm. than to believe the truth. God's word is not gonna change for me, you, or nobody else. God is no respect the person. He said, "Be holy." That go for everybody. The end of God's kingdom, you gonna be holy. And why they follow people, with all men, holding one down. No man. No man. I don't care who you are. No. She'll see the Lord. Amen. I don't care if you're the Pope. I don't care who you is. Amen. I don't care if you're the bishop, archbishop. I don't care if you're an apostle, the pastor, 
the elder, I don't care who you is. Amen. If you ain't filled with the Holy Ghost, you're not going to see the Lord. Amen. You're just telling folk and deceiving folk. Mm -hmm. Jesus. But that's what folks are doing. Why? Because folks love to rebel against God's word. They love to do that. That's right. They love to be disobedient, hard headed, mm -hmm. hard hearted, and try to stab their own righteousness. It is the righteousness of God. Amen. We're going to 2 Corinthians 7 and 10. He said, God desire wicked repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world, wicked death. Mm -hmm. He said, God desire wicked repentance unto salvation. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can't be saved without repenting. And you got to be God the sorrow when you repent. Amen. He didn't say, pray no prayer of repentance unto salvation. He said, be God the sorrow. Mm -hmm. He said, not to be repented of. Mm -hmm. When you God the sorrow, you repent, that means you quit doing what you were doing. Right. You turn around and start seeking the Lord. Mm -hmm. If you were lying, you quit lying. If you're drinking, you quit drinking. If you're smoking, you quit smoking. And I know these liars tell you, well, you, God will take that from you later on. You saved, but God, you lying. God don't, don't have saved nobody. Mm -hmm. God completely saved. That's right. The scripture said the blood of Jesus Christ cleaned up from all sin. Mm -hmm. All unrighteousness. That's right. Nothing not right in God's sight is left in you. Mm -hmm. No sin is left in you. Mm -hmm. But the devil, that lie would tell you, you all right that you're saved. And you go running around still doing the same thing. Still old rank sinner. Mm -hmm. Sinning to the utmost. But you think when you die, you're going to hell. And I'll say this. Nobody dies, go to hell. That's right. Amen. I'll say it again. Nobody dies, go straight to hell. Amen. Paul said you're asleep in Christ. That's right. If everybody go to heaven, hmm. why the dead in Christ going to rise first? Mm -hmm. If they're already up there, why are they rising? Yeah. Where are they rising from? Amen. But... When folk don't write about the word of truth, they might say anything. Amen. They can't show you, but they're going to say it. Amen. But I can show you the dead in Christ shall rise first. Mm -hmm. Those that are alive and man shall be caught up together. Forever be with the Lord. That's right. God people going up together. Yes. Those that are dead and those that are alive. Because mm -hmm. okay. you ain't going to get there for me. I'm not going to get there for you. Everybody feel with the Holy Ghost? God, no respect to person. Amen. You don't get there at the same time. Amen. But we are asleep in Christ. Amen. Where did Jesus call Lazarus from? The grave. He Lazarus come down from heaven. You up there now. You the dead. Grave. No, he called him out the grave. Because <laughs> he wasn't up there. Amen. Jesus people are saying things. They can't prove by scripture. But it's in their little mind. They're plain and puffed up mind. Instead of reading and obeying what the word of God say. Amen. When he called Jared's daughter, he didn't call her down from heaven. Mm -mm. Where y'all get all this foolishness from? Man. Everybody die and go to heaven. Man. And the scripture plainly say, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. If everybody up there, nobody had them been in rising. <laughs> when Jesus come back for the church, they're already up there. Amen. What did he come back for except to judge the world? Mm -hmm. That's why he said there are going to be two resurrections. Mm -hmm. Blessing the holy have part in the first resurrection. If you're already up there, why are you going to be resurrected? For you had no resurrection. For the just and the unjust. You just have a resurrection for, well, no, you have one for the unjust because they're they dying in hell. Mm -hmm. But God worried it right by itself. Yes, it is. But well, we say, God is our work repentance to salvation, not to be repented of. Mm -hmm. Not to be repented of means you don't go back doing the old thing. Yes, no. If you're shacking, you repent. Stop Pack your suitcase up and move out. Amen. I ain't laying with you not another night. Amen. Because I ain't going to get up in the morning, Lord, I, I commit fornication last night. Forgive me, Lord. No, not to be repented of. So you, God is our, you packing your clothes. 
and you're going to find you somewhere else to stay. Amen. But if you ain't godly sorry, you don't repeat the sin of prayer, what do we do? But the sorrow of the world, wicked right. death. You waking death upon yourself. That's right. Ways of sin is death. You haven't been forgiven for repeating those sins of prayer. Mm -hmm. God didn't hear you because he is not a sinner. Amen. But when you repent and be God sorry for your sin, God can start dealing with you. Yes, he can. And bring you to the point that he can save you from your sin. Mm -hmm. People now, they go to the Oh, I got saved last night. You did? Yeah. Let me move back because that smoke is. <laughs> can't hardly breathe. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Oh, I got saved last night. You did? Yeah. What's that in your hand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saying Path Blue Ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> you saved. What do you think? Oh, I got saved last night. Let me get off around you because I can't stand the people Christian. Mm -hmm. You in the name of God in vain. Amen. So let me move on. Right. We have no conversation. No, we don't. I don't hear nothing you say. Mm -hmm. What you saying, you say. But this is what folks are doing. Because man is telling them that they say. And they want to be saved without Jesus. Mm -hmm. Saved without giving up anything. Because they wasn't godless heart for their sin. So, Paul said, God is sorry. Mm -hmm. That's the way you're going to be saved. Mm -hmm. Have you repeating? Are you just up there saying something? And know you don't mean it? Mm -hmm. You still abide in death. Mm -hmm. You ain't saved and you're not going to get saved. God don't play when it comes to repenting. And you have to do it God's way, not your way, not some preacher's way, That's not your denomination way. You're going to have to do it God's way. Mm -hmm. And for God's way, it's perfect. Amen. You got to do that perfect way God wants you to do it. Mm -hmm. We go on to Luke 24 chapter. We start at the 46th verse. Time getting away here. We thank God in us. Amen. It said unto them, Thus it is written, Thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. What do you think Christ suffered and died for? He came to save us from our sin. Not in sin, not to sin, save you from sinning. In the blood cleansed from all sin, all unrighteousness. That you could be a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. That old man in the deed done passed away. Mm -hmm. All that sinful stuff you were doing, you don't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. You live a holy and righteous life before God. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't die for you to run around like you're going to do all up in, in, in this month. Run around with Peter Rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Buying your new clothes. Clean on the outside and filter on the inside. Jesus. Make a mock of Jesus' death. Mm -hmm. Not discern the Lord's body. He didn't die for that. No, he didn't. He died for you to believe and trust him. And realize the work he did on the cross. What he did. The suffering. Mm -hmm. Humiliation. That he endured to attain salvation for us. Not for us to make no idolatry. Make no mockery out of it. In fact, you ain't doing it right. Mm -hmm. You ain't had the right day to do it. You're doing it on the day man told you to do it. Go back and search the scripture. Go back and search Exodus. Go back and search Deuteronomy. Uh -huh. And um, it'll tell you what day that the Passover was on. And it said, keep in the same order year by year. Mm -hmm. It is that one, one year, it might be March, it might be April, and the day might change. No, the same month, same day. Year after year. Right. Amen. So you think you're doing something for Christ. Nope. And what you're doing, you're doing in disobedience. If you study the Holy Scripture, you wouldn't have no problem. Amen. If these crooks would preach the word of God, <laughs> but since God ain't something, they ain't preaching the truth. Mm -hmm. They found the ways of the world. And when you God reveal it to a man of God, the real truth to you, you'll fight against him. Amen. You'll kick against the priest. You say, I've been doing that all my life. This is why God sent a man of God alone. Mm -hmm. So you quit sinning. That's right. Quit being an idolatry. Mm -hmm. So you can get in the truth that your soul won't be lost. Amen. A lot of folks saying, Lord, Lord, ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks in idolatry. Amen. A lot of folks celebrating lies. I'm talking about folks in holiness. Mm -hmm. Will not receive the truth. They fighting against the truth. Right. Kicking against the truth. 
You show them right there, book, chapter, and verse. And they'll say, I ain't going to obey that. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to do that. Child, I've been doing it all my life. You've been wrong all your life. You want to continue to be wrong? You want to die wrong? Mm -hmm. And think you have salvation? Yeah. God's word is to be obeyed. Yes, it is. But we want to do it because, hey, we got to satisfy the people. I ain't setting the people. Yeah. I'm satisfying God. Amen. I'm going to tell folk the truth. Yeah. I don't care about them hating me. They both hate me. Amen. Hate it without a cause. Amen. But somebody got to stand among the people and tell them the truth. So they have opportunity to know what sin is. Mm -hmm. Know that what they're doing is not celebrating Christ. Mm -hmm. They're not discerning the Lord's body. Mm -hmm. That all this ain't nothing but a bunch of foolishness. Yes. And Christ not in no bunch of foolishness. Jesus. They ain't giving Christ the glory and respect he deserved. No, not. Peter Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Easter Bunny. New Clothes. Yeah. Chocolate Bunny. Here come Peter Cartel hopping down the bunny trail. What? Hopping down the bunny What they got to do with Jesus? Nothing. What you need to be down there calling on Jesus. I'm calling on Jesus. I receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Speaking that tongue, the Spirit of God give me out of it. That's what I need to be doing. Yes. Well, let me get on to my life. My last verse here. And that repentance and remission of sin shall be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. This is the problem. No repentance being preached in his name. No remission of sin being preached in his name. So what we got people doing? Some in and everything. Mm -hmm. Nobody repenting of nothing. Mm -hmm. Ain't changed their ways, ain't changed nothing. No. Tell the folks you don't have to be baptized. Well, remission of sin, your sin got to be removed. Your sin removed by baptism. Mm -hmm. Washing away your sin. Amen. Buried him in baptism. Rise him in newness of life. We probably preaching that. Like Peter did on Acts 2 today. He preached that. Yes, he what did. Jesus told him to preach. And we got to do the same thing today. And when you go against all this idolatry, all this man-made food, you're going to be hated. Amen. You're going to be unpopular, but you got to do it anyway. Sure. So we thank God for your time. Thank God for your preaching. Thank God bless you upon you. Thank you, Lord. We say the same. We'll be back. Remember, Jesus said, repent. But you should all oh, like what I right. Amen. Amen.